been drinking more wine this week and having fun while doing so. We've checked out Adelaide and also some of the local wildlife. After an awesome five days in McLaren Vale drinking wine, we hadn't had enough, so we headed to Barossa to drink more wine. After a few days there, we spent about a week in Adelaide. We left our caravan in Bel Air while we headed to the Whit Sundays for our wedding, and then when we got back, we ended the week in Gawler. Hey there, welcome hey. to a new episode. Hey guys, welcome, thanks for joining us. We've ditched McLaren Vale, we got a bit bored of wine, didn't we? No. No, we didn't. But we left McLaren Vale, we're now in Barossa Valley, so we went straight from one wine region to another. Yeah. Um, so Barossa Valley, we're at one of my personal favourite wineries in the world. Yeah, so we're here at Rockford and we've come on a really special day because as you can probably see behind, they're actually doing um, some of the basket press. So they're bringing in the grapes, they're de-stemming and we can see over here that they're actually pressing the grapes in the baskets to um, to get all the juice out. Yeah, so one of the most famous wines here is called Basket Press. Uh, one of the only wineries that do do it and it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and it's very limited and very hard to get. So they usually release it and it sells out very quickly. Um, yeah. So we're here to pick some up and to do some tastings. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be all these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket Darling, this is what you've been waiting for When it all comes in, don't you let it go Honey, this How interesting is this, Hannah? Yeah, it's really interesting. So they've got uh, Jacob's Creek, they've got, for educational purposes, rows of each grape. Um, to be honest, they all look the same to me, but you can no, see a slight... The, yeah, the white white wines are a slightly light, lighter coloured grape. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting, they've literally got every, every different type of grape Riesling here. Like look at the Chardonnay there. Oh yeah, skins. yeah they are. Yeah, a lot of them are a little shriveled, but they're definitely lighter. Like at the end, the Shiraz ones are really dark. What are we drinking at the moment? Wine. <laughs> More specifically. I can't remember. <laughs> We're having a Riesling, ah. but it's a Riesling with 9% semillon. Yeah, it's really good. It's long way. Really well, the Barossa can't just be wine tasting. We'll have better get something else done as well. Walking. So here we are at the Barossa Goldfields. In South Australia I was born. Keep away, all away. In South Australia round Cape Horn. We're bound for South Australia. Haul away, you're rolling king. Heave away, haul away. Haul away, you'll hear me sing. We're bound for South Australia. As I walked out one morning fair, he Hallways, there I met Miss Nancy Blair. We're bound for South Australia. Archie, sit. Sit. Archie, sit down. That's better. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Hi there. I think I'll come back around again now. I know, it's incredible. That was amazing. You could hear each other as clear as day and there's barely any lag and there's no echo. It's just like speaking next to each other or on a microphone. That was so much fun. Hello. 
Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Archie. How are you doing? Just about packed up. Yep. Um, leaving the Barossa today, so we've been staying at Discovery Parks here at Tanunda, which has been great. Yeah, great spot. Uh, they were really good. We've got a big van, so they gave us two sites, which was really lovely of them. Yeah, because we were overlapping on one. Yeah, and the facilities are really good. It's been pretty busy, um, but it is going into school holidays yeah. and school holidays so in other states as well. There's a massive water park here at the actual caravan park. So there's a yeah. pool and a water massive park. Massive pool, and, massive. And a jumping pillow. So yeah, yeah. really family friendly. And they show movies at night and everything. Mm. Yeah, it's been it's been really good and the facilities are really good. So yeah, can't and there's complain. a back gate which leads directly yeah. into town, into and, Sununda. And we're literally like five minutes walk from the main road in yeah. Tatunda. So it's yeah. yeah, a great spot. Yeah, this is definitely a recommend caravan yeah. park. Yeah, great spot. Um, so yeah, we're just packing up and we're about to head off uh, today towards Adelaide. Mm -hmm. We're actually going back south, so we're doing a bit of a zigzag, but um, heading to Brighton Caravan Park, so which is on the beach, Hannah tells me. Yep, yeah, we haven't seen the sea for a few days. So that'd be good. Hopefully we get a nice big spot right on the beach. And uh, yeah, it'll give us a bit of time to explore Adelaide. Yeah, and we've got a couple of things that we need to get done as well. So mm. the car's booked in for a tyre upgrade. Yeah, we've got HT tyres on at the moment, just the standard that came with the Ranger. We decided to take the plunge and buy some all-terrain tyres. Uh, I think with the roads coming up um, and the miles we've got to do, it's probably best yeah, to get definitely. some. Yeah, definitely. And we've also got the caravan booked in for its three-month service. Yeah, so not not too many issues with the caravan. A few things hopefully they'll fix, but overall uh, it's been great, hasn't yeah, it, has the been caravan? Great. So um, yeah, we'll take it to them and they can fix it up uh, for us. Uh, and then we're just going to spend a few days exploring Adelaide. Yep, yeah. right, ready to get going. Let's go. What are you doing? Just making a bit of lunch. Ah, just Doing a bit of a caprese young toast. Very <laughs> tasty. Archie's uh, clearly interested. Drool everywhere. So we just arrived at Brighton Caravan Park. And we're very happy. Very happy. Look at that view from the window. Right at the beach. Here, let me take you outside. Let's have a look at this. Amazing spot. What do you think, Anna? I know. I can't quite believe it. We've yeah. lucked out. Yeah, we've lucked out. Here, let's have another look. Oh, oh amazing spot. Stay. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, no, wait there. A little one. Check out Adelaide Oval. We've come into Adelaide, it's Sunday afternoon, so not a lot's open. We thought we'd just come and have a bit of a wander around the city. And there's all sorts of, um, I think they're the floating barbecues that are going along the river and the pedalos as well. So there's a fair bit going on. So we're just having a bit of a wander around. I think we might just go and have a quick walk around the oval. I'm not sure, probably the outside of the oval, but, uh, but nonetheless. I might go have a quick look at the pedalos too. Yeah, let's check it out. 
We're staying at Bel Air National Park Caravan Park at the moment and you can just come straight into the National Park. It's one of the few national parks that I've heard of that allows dogs hmm. on the lead. He's loving it. So we're having a bit of a walk around and we've only been we've only been here like a couple of minutes. Very bad camera work. And here we are. Some kangaroos. I'm not sure how tame they are. So the caravan has gone in for its service here in Adelaide and it's going to be in for a few hours so we don't have have it for a little while so we thought we'd pop out here to Arndorf and grab a bit of a late lunch. After Handorf, we popped up to Mount Lofty just to check out the view of Adelaide. It's supposed to be the best view because it's 710 metres above sea level. And as our time in Adelaide was drawing to a close, we went up to Windy Hill to see the sunset. It's time to go. Yes. Time to move on from Adelaide. Yeah, we've been here for about two weeks. Uh, mm. Not here exactly, because we had a bit of a stint in Early Beach, but the caravan's been here for around Adelaide for two weeks. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy, isn't it? I know. It's, uh, it's gone really quickly and really slowly at the same time. Yeah. I don't feel like I've got had enough time to see everything. Yeah. But we've had loads of time here, so it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. I'd like to be in a lovely surprise yeah. seeing so many things. I think when you think about going to the big laugh of Australia, you're thinking about the beaches and being out at the coast, but mm. doing the cities is just as important a part. Yeah, and it's a lovely city and uh, the suburbs around Adelaide, Adelaide Hills where we are now, yeah, uh, is really nice. Um, yeah, we did McLaren Vale, Barossa. Barossa. Brighton, we stayed in Brighton for a little while. Yeah, yeah the coast around Adelaide is yeah. beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're, we're packing the van up today. Um, we're happy to move on now, so we're going to Gawla. So just a quick stop over in Gawla uh, as we make our way to the York Peninsula for the next few days uh, and check out some more beaches and see what there is happening down there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we're about ready. Caravan's looking pretty tidy. Archie's crying, so he's ready to go. Yeah, oh, she's definitely ready to get going. So uh, let's head up, let's hit the road. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 